everyone and welcome back to Easy Toddler Hairstyles. This is Tiffany and Nova. And today we're going to be showing you a braided pigtail style with ponytails added in. This is about a 10 minute style, so if you stay tuned, we will show you how to do it. Let's get started. First up is hair prep. Um, I've taken her hair out from the day before and I'm just using water leave-in conditioner to work it through her hair to make it more manageable and easier to style. We're going to start parting out the style. I'm going to make a deep right side part and then with the right side I will part it back behind the ear. This section is going to be a little bit bigger because it is going to be our braided section once I have the hair all parted out. So I'll secure this with an elastic and then I'm going to come from this deep side part which is at the back of the crown and go all the way to the opposite side back behind the ear. I'm going to loosely secure this off for now and the back area I'm going to put into pigtails. I'm using the nape of her neck as a guide right down the middle right where the back of her neck kind of indents in order to get even pigtails and make sure that my part is right down the middle. Again, I'm using water and spray gel as I style um, to give me a neat overall appearance and then the pigtails are going to be fairly low. Once the pigtails are done, I'm coming back to this front section and we are going to make four more ponytails. So in order to get even sections, you want to part it in half first. And then once you've got it parted into two, then you're going to part those into two as well. Sometimes when you have styles with uh, several ponytails, it's easier to part in half and then in half again, rather than go from one side to the other. That way you can uh, make them more even. So I'm placing the ponytails back at the back of the section like the back middle portion of the section and parting this side in half. Now I get a lot of questions when it comes to parting out hair. It's easier to part on hair that's a little bit damp and just be confident about your swipes and you will get fairly straight parts doing that. I'm taking this big section on the right and I am going to start a three strand braid. If you don't know how to do a three strand braid, I do have a braiding basics video that shows you how to do all basic braids. Um, but this one is fairly straightforward. It's just three strands uh, crossing either under or over the middle depending on your preference and what's easier for you. Now when I get to the point that I'm close to this next ponytail, closest to that big section, I'm going to bring the hair under. Then I will add this hair to the hair that I just placed under the middle strand and continue braiding. So you want to keep your strands even that you are bringing in. So I'm going to braid down a couple stitches and then add another ponytail in. A stitch is when you cross the hair either under or over. So for example you see me here crossing the hair over, adding a strand, and then I'm going to cross over over, over one more time, last time add a strand. So you can add a ponytail every other time you bring the hair over, every time you bring the ha hair over, just stay consistent that way that the ponytails will stay evenly spaced. I hope that makes sense. Once you've got down to the bottom right ponytail, you're going to simply add it all together and here's one final look at our finished style. We just want to say thank you so much for watching our video today. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as we upload a new video every week. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.